Hello, in this video we'll be using again the vesica as the, the basic unit in what's called sacred geometry, but using it to create uh, firstly the 2 to 3 ratio and the rectangle in there which is full of some very, very interesting um, information. Uh, but also then you also firstly we'll be using it to create a, a perfect phi ratio and then using it to build uh, a Fibonacci spiral uh, the Fibonacci numbers being 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, but we have 2 to 3 uh, ratio built in there. And so there's a few different ways to get, firstly, the perfect phi ratio, square root of 5 plus 1 over 2, then also to build it into the Fibonacci spiral, which essentially creates a perfect phi, or well, not a perfect phi ratio, a very close approximation. And the more you develop the spiral, the closer the ratio gets to perfect phi but it's on a wave and that's a complex thing on its own but so firstly we'll be using the vesica and creating a perfect phi ratio okay so we have this the 3 to 2 vesica and now I've just divided it up into those sections 1 2 3 wide and 2 across but we can now get uh, the phi ratio directly from here and so phi equals the square root of 5 plus 1 over 2 and that's 1.618033988 goes on so that's the the phi ratio um, if we expand it through the Fibonacci or through the Lucas numbers we'll get uh, a very close very very close and the further you go the closer and, and closer you get but we do get phi from directly from here and we begin with so we have it at a well, 3 to 2 ratio so we can this is 2 this is 1 if we do a diagonal Now we have this 2 to 1 uh, right angle triangle, Pythagorean theorem, a squared plus b squared equals c squared, a is 1 squared, b is 2 squared equals well, c squared, and so that's 1 plus 4 equals the square root, 1 plus 4 is 5, so therefore this is the square root of 5, we already have 1, and we already set the compass to the square root of 5, and it's, what do you know, the width, width of the point outside of the paper, so Extend this line out. Therefore, this section of is square root of five, square root of five plus one divided by two, square root of five plus one divided by two, which means that. Highlighter. So the yellow to the pink is a ratio of 5 to 1. So this whole section, this whole line is 5, 5 square root of 5 plus 1 over 2, and therefore this would now be 1. And so to 1 straight from the vesica. So we have the beginnings of the phi, well the Fibonacci spiral with the 2 to 3 uh, ratio. Now I'll just show here uh, how to again just to uh, draw the rectangle uh, properly. You can sort of follow the steps of um, uh, done it before but just worth repeating if you've never uh, seen those earlier episodes. 
So with this two to three uh, ratio, which is the fundamental construction unit in what's um, called sacred geometry, but if whether you're into architecture, art, pure Euclidean geometry uh, in a pure math form, this is a beautiful construction. So again, it's under the umbrella of what's called sacred geometry so often, but it, you know, if you and if you don't like the word sacred, you're not into these themes. It doesn't mean that this is any, um, you know, this is not the only way to to approach it. So if you want to look at it in a, in a you know, in a more rationalist uh, sense, let's put it. Uh, still, this is very powerful, very important, very useful, um, with almost infinite. Uh, again, that's a stretch of the word infinite. But w so we have the two to three ratio, and now I'm just showing how to uh, break it up into the two by three uh, checkerboard. So we'd have, you know, three squares across the top uh, and it's two squares high. Now we can now use this as well. This is a very nice, very clean way to begin the Fibonacci spiral. And it's important to remember that each growth of a Fibonacci begins with one quarter circle. So I've highlighted, you know, one quarter of a circle there to make a one by one rectangle. Then when we draw the Fibonacci spiral we pick the longer side and we add a quarter circle to that so in this case because we begin with one one just the quarter circle is of the same side now we have a two by one uh, rectangle which creates a, a semicircle but now we need to expand that two by one to the longer side and so I set the compass to the two and then I draw a quarter circle and that should now yeah meets up at the corner there and so now what we have is a three by two uh, rectangle and also this spiral. Now we continue just to keep, you know, this, this is how it begins, but we can, we can just keep developing the circle, uh, developing the spiral. And so the next quarter circle would have uh, a radius of three, the longest edge of the fib. Okay, so we've done the two by three. And again, I'll just, now we're going to expand it. And so we saw it in, uh, where it filled the whole page, but now we start at the corner and just to show how the spiral expands and or creates this lovely spiral, just quarter circles added to the long edge of the rectangle. One, one, two, three, five, eight, thirteen, twenty-one, thirty-four, fifty-five. But we've already have the two and the three, the two and the three. Now how to create the phi spiral or the Fibonacci spiral. And that in itself is a really cool um, thing about it. So I'm just gonna extend these. And I'll extend these lines out as well. Because there's, well, I linked to the previous upload that how beautiful the phi ratio is in arithmetic. Uh, for instance, um, any number, any pin close to it, phi plus one equals phi squared, phi minus one equals one over phi, and just so many other examples. But this was what makes this number really so important, so um Cool, but there's another that's in in speaking of the spiral and the geometry which goes with that. It's it's the perfect proportion, and by that I mean. So first, I'm going to set the compass to three. Okay, so now we have three, two, three, five. So. Put the compass there. I'm going to draw a quarter circle. So that's one quarter of a circle. That would now give us a proportion of five. So two, three, five. Now if I continue with that. Now I'm going to draw another quarter circle. And 
this would now be eight. So now we're like literally drawing this number sequence and creating this spiral. That's a quarter circle, that's a quarter circle, and what's really, really nice about that is, especially as you keep drawing it and drawing it, that this actually creates a, a lovely spiral. Now, if you were to draw, draw the circle in any other proportion, it would look wonky, it wouldn't look right, but at, when you build up the spiral this way, it actually makes a wonderful spiral. It, it fits the pattern, it looks as if it's one continuous curve. Uh, if you just draw quarter circles and start adding them in any other way, it just doesn't look right. And apart from... And that's why spirals such as this, or, or the spiral which is embedded in pine cones, it's actually building up using the same Fibonacci sequence. This is part, this is, this is nature, this is sunflowers, galaxies, hurricanes, shells, flowers, oh yeah, and uh, pine cones being another example of this particular sequence and that's why this curve looks only at this proportion that only at this number at this arithmetic does it happen with five and as you build up towards five or this curve it just looks right it, it looks seamless and that's one of the reasons why it's so beautiful so important as well it's not just a curiosity it's it, it is it's nature but it's also defines the great pyramids as well Okay, so we have the that two to three, well, the two to three being the three to five, and then the five to eight rectangle, and you could fill in that spiral. So that's how the spiral grows. Now, what I've drawn, so now we have a three to eight spiral. So there we have the same. Uh, three to eight spiral, and if I was to just freehand it in, um, actually, actually I'm start with, uh, anyway, that's the um, sorry. This rectangle is a ratio of what, five high by eight wide, and the so just like <clears throat> just freehanding it there. It would actually be upside down to what this this is here. But as I said, that this spiral using these quarter circles growing at this particular ratio creates this very lovely looking spiral. It's not it doesn't look like a bunch of quarter circles stuck together awkwardly. It it, it appears to be um, quite an organic structure, and that's because well, it, it's it's the way that so many um, but the the. Nature works in this way, and we'll look at that more. But this is an example. So we started with this five to eight. Okay, so when you continue the spiral, you always start at the corner of the long edge. So I will draw another quarter circle, and that would be a uh, eight to thirteen. So we have one, one, two, three, five, eight. 13, 21, 34, 55, the Fibonacci. So this rectangle we began with was a 5 to 8. Now we have an 8 to 13. Now if I follow through with that. Now we have 13 to 21. So the original rectangle was 5 high, 8 wide, now we have 8 by 13, and now we have a 13 by 21. And we just keep going. Okay, now we have a 21 by 34. Alright. Now I'm just going to close this section here 
to highlight that rectangle because we need that. Okay, so we have 21 by, this will be 21 wide by 34. And so now we set the, in the compass to the long edge. Slime through to the end. Then now we have a 34, 34, sorry, 34 vertically by 55 horizontally. And Continue to draw that line through to the edge. If you draw it properly, I'll put links in the description how to do it more accurately. I'm just sort of trying to highlight it in, at the moment. And um, okay, we have 34 to 55. Also, just wanna, I'm just going to eyeball it again. So now this spiral, if it was enclosed in a rectangle, would be 89 high by um, 55 wide, these the Fibonacci numbers, the 10th and the 11th. And, um, well, okay, the graphic will be up in, in a moment, uh, but, but what we have here is a, well, a good approximation of the golden number, 589 over 55. It does get better as you develop it, and I'll talk about that a little bit more in the next few episodes especially if we use the Lucas numbers and how we can create these together uh, so both the math and the geometry to create uh, a very close approximate of phi but also the the phi approximate which is in so much uh, iconic pieces of architecture such as the Great Pyramid and okay so I'll, I'll put these as separate episodes uh, just as drawing exercises but I will be referring to these uh, in future episodes, especially the sacred geometry used in the Great Pyramids of Egypt. Anyway, with that, I hope you enjoy, enjoyed, and I'll, uh, next one will be on drawing the Lucas number spiral, which is so closely related to the Fibonacci spiral. Anyway, with that, have a good one.